But now it's time for my workout. Sometimes it's a question of like, are we in a club? Are we in a fitness studio? What's happening? <laughs> but they are hands down the best ab exercise I've ever found. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through a full body functional workout at the studio, which will be a little bit later. However, before we get into that, there are a few things that need to happen for me morning wise to prep the body and the mind and just get things in order, get things moving. And one of those things is I start every morning with uh, a cup of bone broth. And I know that sounds so basic and so trendy right now, um, but there actually is some version of bone broth in almost every country that I have visited, which is really cool. So when I was living in Czech Republic, they call it vivar, and it's just a long process of cooking beef bones or whatever kind of animal bones you'd like, maybe adding in some root vegetables, and they have it as a cure for any kind of illness or any kind of malady. So whether it's hangover or you know getting a sore throat or a stuffed nose and I think it's just the best thing to have in the morning especially this time of year as it's getting colder because it just feels like a hug from the inside and it's a little bit salty I add a poached egg for a little bit of extra protein and then I have coffee lifeblood so I don't have any morning classes today. My first class will be in the studio at noon. So I'm going to <laughs> double fist my two liquids here to energize and hydrate the body and read. And this is actually one of my favorite ways to start the day when I have the opportunity because one, I think reading is a wonderful pastime. It's a great way to enhance your vocabulary and just to stimulate your imagination. But especially first thing in the morning, it's just my 30 minutes of tranquility, which I really value and appreciate greatly when I have the opportunity. All right, it's time to eat. I have had sufficient liquids. I'm ready for some solid food. And on the menu today is berry pancakes. This is a recipe I make actually embarrassingly <laughs> every single day. I haven't gotten sick of it yet. So I will leave the ratios or the recipe down in the description box below. And what I like about it is it's super high in protein and very easy to make. As I mentioned, these berry pancakes are super high in protein. And if there's one thing that you can take away from this video, if there's one favor you can do for yourself, it's to start your day off with a high protein breakfast. Now this has many benefits for the body, but I wanna highlight three here. The first is that a high protein breakfast promotes satiety, meaning that you are likely to feel fuller for longer, leading to better subsequent food choices throughout the day. Benefit number two is that it regulates your insulin and glucose release response. So unlike a standard breakfast that would be high in sugars or refined carbohydrates like cereal or a bagel, if you add in a little bit more protein, you are likely to stabilize your energy leading to fewer peaks and valleys throughout the day. And benefit number three to eating a high protein breakfast is that it feeds the muscles. <laughs> and so as I mentioned later on in this video, I'm going to be including a full body functional workout. And I wanna do everything in my power nutrition wise to feed and promote that precious lean muscle mass. I'm currently at the studio because I have a trained abs and booty class to teach. So after we're done in here burning and building the booties of Brussels, I like that beep 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 beep, I can get into my workout. And a quick side note, I'm extra excited for today's class because last night I made a new playlist and it's just, I know I shouldn't say that because it's my playlist and it's my programming, but I think it's gonna be an extra good one today.
So I've just wrapped the class, Train Abs and Booty, which is always so much fun. I really love the energy that it gives. And the students are all just so smiley afterwards and sweaty and it just makes my day because I know that their heads are clear and they can go on out into the rest of the world being, you know, a little bit lighter and just riding that endorphin wave the rest of the day, which is awesome, very satisfying. But now it's time for my workout. So the following session is going to be a full body functional training geared towards a few specific skills that I'm currently working on. Skills that include getting the pull up, practicing toes to bar, and weighted pistol squats. I like to call these kinds of sessions my ninja training days because they help me develop speed, power, and proprioception, or knowing where my body is in space as it moves. Now your goals may be different to this, which is totally cool. I mean, we all want different things, but if you also want to move and feel like a ninja, which I'm not exactly sure how that would look because no one's ever seen a ninja in real life. But if you also want to move and feel like an athlete, then I've included modifications and regressions for each of these moves in the description box below. toaster bar kick my ass <laughs> and honestly the first time i tried them i really surprised myself and now it's just been this obsession to get as many as i can in a row but they are hands down the best ab exercise i've ever found if your forearms don't fall off first because god they make them burn
workout is kicking my ass. I mean, I know I wrote it for myself, but shit. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It means growth, but okay. We have some areas to improve upon. Oh, I'm sweating. Okay. I have one thing left, one circuit left. It's a finisher I've been using in my training classes recently. And by some serendipitous magic, it times up really well with a brutal song in the playlist that I'm gonna write down here on the screen. And the circuit consists of a sprint on the scale mills for 30 seconds, followed by a 30 second active hang. The idea is to improve your cardiovascular endurance. So we wanna spike the heart rate on the scale mills, and then as you're in the active hang, try to calm the heart rate back down. I'm gonna do that for three rounds. <sighs> Wish me luck. Now I just want to wrap up today's video by saying that movement in any form is good. It should be something that you enjoy and ideally look forward to every day. And this workout did that for me. It was challenging and it moved me closer towards the skills that I want to achieve. Though I haven't always trained this way. These particular skills take a lot of strength, body awareness, and of course, practice. So whether you also want to move like a ninja or hone a specific skill, or just feel good naked, I think the best thing that you can do for yourself is start by building strength. So if you're new to working out, or if you also want to develop strength in these foundational moves, I've got you covered. I've actually written a six week comprehensive kettlebell program that I will link in the description box below that helps you practice those foundational moves that I just discussed. And the best part is all you need is a single kettlebell. I want you all to have as few barriers as possible to becoming the fittest and most confident version of yourself. And like the workout today, the kettlebell lends itself very well to functional training. The kind of training that makes you strong and adept and carries over very nicely into your everyday activities. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and for making it all the way here until the end. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you click here to watch more like it and don't forget to subscribe join the beautiful family i upload new videos every single week i hope you find at least some time today to show your beautiful body some love and i will see you all back here in my next video very very soon ciao everybody